I enjoy my job. I, I, I like coming to work in the morning because I'm a visitor also. I, I enjoy working for the agency. I truly do. So I, I do have a lot of pride in it. I enjoy running the machine and, and uh, making the signs that go out there because that is something that is minor as it may seem to people. They're just signs, but it's something I enjoy doing. My name is Willie Steinhauser. I'm the sign shop manager at uh, Bastrop State Park for the entire state park system. They go throughout the entire state of Texas, different parks, small or large, and uh, I'll make them all. The yellow lettering on the brown backfield kind of stands out. It, it catches your eye easily. It's, it's uh, visible out in the world, durable through the years. Historically, the signs were made with more manual labor involved. Have to spell out the phrase with all these little tiles, get the spacing just right. The operator would bring this carriage down over, trace out on those tiles, and the router would follow that pattern and, and make the sign. A few years ago, the state parks bought the CNC machine over here, which had just sped things up dramatically. It's, it's more computer driven. I just type in what that sign is supposed to say. Save it on a drive. And the machine actually comes across and carves out the pattern. It's a printer if you want to just use that comparison, but it's got a router bit. The machine basically just does all the work. If, if I have misspelled something in the software, the machine is going to misspell it in the real world. I truly don't think I've ever made a spelling mistake. I check it all the time just to make sure it's spelled right. That is it, but for some reason that doesn't look right to me. Some of our signs are even in the Spanish language, and uh, I always have to get assistance to make sure that the verbiage is proper, change this or this, and add a tilde or something like that. So those are kind of unusual, but I get up on those. I had a guy in the agency ask me, Willie, what's the most unusual sign you've ever made? There's one for Caprock Canyon that claims to be the official scratching post for the state bison herd or something like that. And I didn't even know bison could read. I had an order for a sign. It was two signs actually for Big Bend Ranch State Park. One side said simply nowhere. Big sign said nowhere. The other sign that goes with it said the other side of nowhere. His name was Kevin. I said, Kevin, I, I assume these signs go out somewhere in the desert and they're mounted on the same post opposite each other. And he emailed me back, you are correct, and had a picture of himself with some other mountain bikers, one that says nowhere, and then the other picture said the other side of nowhere. So that's probably the most unusual sign I've made. This treated lumber, uh, it's supposed to last, but obviously in the Texas environment, there's gonna be some heat involved. They are in the elements 24 hours a day. They, they don't get any break. I would hope they get at least six to eight years out of a sign. I just truly don't know. At some point they're gonna split, get damaged by mowers hitting them or trailers bumping into them. It's just kind of part of the deal sometimes. Some are lost, obviously, through fire, as we know here at Bastrop all too well, flooding. Uh, Hurricane Harvey did a lot of damage to some of the parks, and I had to get those replaced in a hurried fashion. Uh, even vandalism. The fire at, at 2011 was actually just out here, uh, outside the building, but uh, it was saved. They were just spraying water on it. A lot of sign damage at that time, and it was, it was ground zero for the big fire. This building dates back to the 1940s when it was rebuilt after a fire. The original was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. They built furniture here for state parks. They built boats for state parks in addition to the sign shop. And the sign shop is the only thing that is still in operation in this building right now. I think by now in the four years, I think I've made signs for each park in our system. 
there might be a couple of parts that I haven't had an order from yet, but for the most part, I think I've gotten them all. So it's really not even that dusty in here. Uh, the vacuum takes care of a lot of that. It gets kind of loud. I, I wear ear covers. So if my wife is calling on the occasion, sometimes I just don't hear because I've got ear covers on. And is it a good excuse? <laughs> I'm not going to say that, so don't air that. <laughs> Uh, not a bad gig to have. I enjoy doing what I do. I like doing it. Because I make these signs and know that they're going to be mounted out in various parts, I want to make sure that our visitors have a good experience. These signs are concise and to the point and let that visitor know which direction they need to go to see a certain attraction. Oh, Dad, see that sign? My family, we do visit parks. Yeah, they're older. I do like to point out those signs that I've made and those that I didn't make. I've looked at a lot of them, so I should know. Not mine. I have said before that I am the best sign shop manager that State Parks has right now. But I'm also the worst one, so <laughs> take that for what it's worth. <laughs> I haven't caught up yet. I don't know if I ever will, but I try. I would like to just catch up and not have signs to make, but I'll see if that ever happens. <laughs>